Good evening and welcome to Complin on this Tuesday the 19th of May 2020, the day that we've been asked to remember Dunstan, our patron saint and Archbishop of Canterbury and he was restorer of the monastic life in 988 and our icon this evening and all week is that of Dunstan. So as we come together at the end of our day. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We just reflect upon the time that has been. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, made speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. And we say or sing that beautiful hymn. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. And the psalm this evening I've chosen is Psalm number 100. And 21, a psalm that assures us of God's protection. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and for evermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. And some words from Scripture. You, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Leave us not, O Lord our God. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy loads, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. 
Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And now for the Nunc Dimittis. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. As he promised to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. As he promised to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. And now for our time of prayer. Heavenly Father, as we draw to the end of this day, we give thanks for all that has been. As we remain ever mindful of those so many of whom may be struggling at this time. So let us pray. Merciful God, we entrust to your unfailing and tender care this night all those who are ill or in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe, comfort and heal them and restore them to health and strength, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we name on our heart or out aloud those who have asked us for prayer at this time, those who are known to us that are in hospital this evening, those that may be at home, isolated, anxious, or feeling alone. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And as this day draws to a close, we continue to pray for all our key workers. For those who are working in our hospitals and care homes. Those working on the wards and in intensive care. For those who are responsible for answering the switchboard and for cleaning. For those who are serving meals. We give thanks for each and every one of them, remaining mindful of so many who may be mourning the loss of loved ones. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And our collect this evening is for Dunstan. Almighty God, who raised up Dunstan to be a true shepherd of the flock, a restorer of monastic life, and a faithful counsellor to those in authority, Give to all pastors the same gifts of your Holy Spirit, that they may be true servants of Christ and of all his people. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. So we say together the words of the Lord's Prayer. 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And may the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen. And God bless you wherever you may be. Thank you for joining us this evening. And as I mentioned this morning, morning prayer tomorrow will be taken by my colleague, Reverend Brian McHenry, as I will be taking a funeral first thing. But I will look forward to joining you for Compline tomorrow evening at seven. So good night and God bless. Bye bye for now. <laughs>